Hello, everyone, and welcome to Happy, Healthy, and Successful, this very powerful summit in which we're bringing together uh, masters in different areas, coaches, mentors, teachers, healers, spiritual teachers, alchemists, uh, to share with you their strategies, their processes, their tools, their stories, their stories of becoming embodied and stepping into that level of success, balance, harmony, and abundance. And today we have a beautiful guest, Candy Wyndham, with us. Welcome, Candy. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. For first, I just want to say thank you for having me here, Maria. I really appreciate it. Something about myself is that the first thing is that you're going to have so much fun right now. Because if you're not having fun with whatever you're doing, you're doing it wrong. And something that I can share about myself is I am from Colombia. I've been in business for so many years, but I opened my entrepreneurship journey five years ago, almost six years next month. So it has been a really incredible journey. And especially because everything started just helping people losing weight. And then I end up becoming a business mentor for my clients right now. So it's been a really incredible journey. And yes, I'm here just to support you and give you the most I can. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I hear that it's an incredible journey. And it's great once you're there, right? Once you have the level of success, you can look back and say, oh, my journey was amazing because you relate to it differently. Let's talk about when you work with clients, when it doesn't feel so great, right? Their journey doesn't feel so great. They're facing challenges, whether it's with their health, with money, with getting things going in their business. What are some of the uh, tools or strategies or processes that you share and help them implement? Okay, so the first thing is that I open up the, the vision for them. So first, let's go back to the foundations for the basis, right? What do you start it, your business? So normally when I have this client that is completely stressed mm -hmm. and is not selling, nothing is happening and they feel like crying and they see all these incredible, amazing challenges that I always call it gift and blessings <laughs> because that it means that you're going to be uh, going to be able to grow in that opportunity and that in that journey. But the most important part is that, Maria, is that I give them the assurance that everything is going to be working. They just have to believe it. Mm -hmm. So I ask them really good, good, very beautiful questions, like three questions that I normally have. It's like, why are you here? Mm -hmm. Why are you here? What is that you see and experience and feel? Mm -hmm. That is not actually making you take action to the things that you wanted to. Mm -hmm. And then they start exploring the fears and they, they, so any type of fear that it come in. We just go through, of course, any mentor, any coach, they're supposed to have NLP as a tool so they can use explore more. Okay, what is something that is stopping you so you can actually start taking action? So when they realize and when I step into the identity because mm -hmm. it's all about believing that you can too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they had this identity that they can do that, then they won't because whatever you believe, that's right. actually what is going to happen. Right. So yes, the most important part is that I go through those questions. I help them go through the alignment because if you, whatever you think and you feel and the actions are not speaking by themselves and you don't have congruency with whatever you're doing, that mm -hmm. is when actually you won't be able to take action in the frustration and not having clients, not having money, not having this. And the focus on negativity will actually expand. So I just shift the focus, the feelings, mm -hmm. alignment, the purpose with their talents, and then actually they will be able to move forward with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds um, very much like what we do in the spiritual world as well, in terms of aligning with their heart space, like with their true desires, really finding that why and getting through those fears and changing the relationship with the unknown, right? 
changing their relationship with even with the peers because peers are really opportunities. Uh, so you you mentioned you use NLP. What are their tools? What are their tools are are in your your in your toolbox <laughs> that you use? Yeah. So the, if they really 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 like. They know the process, they know the system, they know the model that they have to follow, but they still not taking action. I take them to a date of breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. It's a breakthrough day system where I go through different areas in their life, mm -hmm. different areas of fears. And we actually pro and we create this game plan of moving forward. What are we going to do? But and then I have to release and, and remove all the baggage, you know, all the baggage that is doesn't need it. And then when everything is clear, when they feel like, yes, I'm completely empowered now, then we create a game plan. And that's basically a whole day. That's like a breakthrough day. That's what we call it. And that's most of my clients is like, oh my God, this works like 10K day <laughs> exercise because it's long, but they release so much. And I can take a picture and video at the beginning. And at the end of the day, they look completely different. Mm -hmm. And it's just incredible transformation. And then you actually will be able to, to do what you need to do. Because as a business owner, mm -hmm. we have steps. You know, we have business operations that we need to follow every single day. But mm -hmm. if we don't follow through, then we have to find out what, what is going on? What is stopping you? What is not in that alignment with mm -hmm. yourself, especially congruency, right? Mm -hmm. So if there is not an alignment, then we go from there. But yes, that's one of the biggest tools that I have as an NLP when I become a master as an NLP. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's, um, let's talk a little bit about your journey. Like, what were some of the biggest challenges that you experienced in you know, you're in your mastery right now. You're leading, um, you're creating space for others, you're creating space for others to believe in themselves and then really embody that. What was your journey to getting to this place? Wow. I think it everything started when I have a heart attack in 2000. I was living in Colombia. Mm -hmm. And basically, the moment was when my focus was completely shift and change. And during the time that I was in the hospital, I look at myself in the mirror and I ask myself, why? I, how did I get here? Mm -hmm. How my candy is here? Why I'm here with all these cables trying to survive and, and have a, a new new chapter in my, in my life? Mm -hmm. Then when well, I was walking through my bed, I decided this never, ever is going to happen again. And mm -hmm. that's when actually I started of having this awareness that I have to improve and I grade my standards, that I have to in commit to something better because I deserve better, better in my life. So that was the biggest challenge that I have because before the heart attack, I lost everything. I lost my marriage. Mm -hmm. I, I almost lost a kid. I lost my job. I didn't mm -hmm. have no money in my bank account. Mm -hmm. I was living with my parents. Mm -hmm. And then I completely ill. I didn't even have money to pay the mm -hmm. bills in the hospital. That mm -hmm. was the worst time ever. Mm -hmm. But it gave me the strength to actually continue 23 years later mm -hmm. to do and be who I am. Yeah, of course, after that, you know, moving from Colombia to the United States, I have to learn English. I have to uh, fish in myself and speaking and, and mastering so many areas in my life. And those all those challenges just make me the person who I am. But most important thing are my clients. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who actually build this woman and leader that they have right now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. So I, the questions are coming up. First of all, um, I love what you said about I made a decision. I think that's important for everybody to hear. I made a decision because I also remember when I made it a decision and then there was another pivot point and then I made another decision the decisions that we make the choices that we make shape who we are and what we're creating they shape our reality so in that moment you realize this is not the life this is not what I want to live this is not me and so recognizing that that was in your authentic you and then saying no to that and saying yes to you and then beginning that journey. So 
again, it's really important for everybody to realize no matter where you are, you can still make that choice, mm-hmm. that choice to choose you, the choice to, you know, take it one step at a time back to you, back to your alignment, back to what makes you happy, back to believing in yourself, back to your self-worth, back to your value, back to freedom and sovereignty, back mm-hmm. to being whoever you want to be in this world and expressing yourself authentically. So yeah. that's, that's amazing. And then also, you know, looking at the 20, uh, 23 years and realizing like, that's what happened, but here I am now. Also realizing that there's hope, you know, that, that you can create whatever life that you want to create, no matter what the, few, the, the past was, we can create something new. We can design our life in alignment with who we are. So again, remembering the power of choice, listening to you and your divine yes, and trusting yourself, believing in yourself. Very, very beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it is easy to say it, Maria. It's super easy to say it, but it's difficult mm-hmm. to get there mm-hmm. because literally you have to shift all you do. You have to completely become a new you. And mm-hmm. literally a new you is like when my name used to be Candy Nino Ramirez, I was that person who was suffering, struggling, dealing with an unfaithful husband, they almost losing everything well mm-hmm. i become this woman candy window super powerful but i didn't come just because and mm-hmm. you probably you relate that to is super related to the people who are watching us right now is mm-hmm. that it is important for you to understand that we need to go through all those challenges you know all those difficulties like for example uh the la- latest challenge that i had was when one of the top leaders that was going to get a biggest the biggest account they say not to me because I am Latina I am, and I have an accent. So, <laughs> so they were like, oh my God. So that, it means that doesn't happen just that moment. It happens so many times, Maria. It's crazy. And yes, you're going to be going through a lot of rejections during the journey. And people who say no, but I realize right now it's because they are not supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. They are not in alignment with your energy. They are not in alignment with truly who you are and what you can give to that particular person. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, I want to add to that, and I want to go back um, to the statement that you said: "It's not easy." You know, our our journey or whatever we chose as our evolution is not really meant to take us down. It's meant to help us awaken to our potential, help us awaken to our authenticity and who we are in the world and serving at the level. So we get to upgrade ourselves. Like you said, who you were before is not who you are now. Every day we make those choices. Every day we take the steps. We become the the new version of ourselves. And yes, in a week, we'll can look back and say, I'm different than that. In a month, we'll look even more different. And in a year, we'll be unrecognizable. Because we're making these choices, we're raising our standards, we're, la- we're raising our tolerance level. We are living into more of our potential every day. We're expressing ourselves or expressing more of who we are every day. We're choosing to love ourselves and accept ourselves and to be of service to others in the highest way possible. Mm-hmm. So, and so we want to think about that journey instead of um, it's hard or we have to, that we get to, because then we are in our power when it's our choice versus, oh my gosh, this is happening to me. We move away from the victim into creation, into empowerment. And from that point of view, the things that would seem challenging and overwhelming, they don't seem so much anymore because we're also building our resilience. We're expanding our focus and how we're relating to life. So things seem easier as we go. And sometimes we don't even notice because we're focused on what we can create, not what's wrong. So thank you for sharing that and bringing that up. Um, and in regards to people that say no, right? They're not really rejecting us. And I know we both laughed about it because it's like, it's, that, it's okay, that happened. But we realize there's a purpose for that. And, and they, maybe they're not, like you said, maybe we're not in alignment and, and we're not matching. So I'm okay with that. 
that's the way that they expressed it. That's what they said. But really, you know, you know your value. I know my value. And we know what we bring to everyone in the space that we hold for everyone for possibility and transformation. So that was just, okay, it's not really your loss, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I post that in social media. Most of the people were like getting crazy. You're supposed to file a discrimination thing. You're supposed to do this. And I said, no, I just wish them well. I just I just want to share that these things happen and mm -hmm. it can happen to anyone. We just got accepted that it's a redirection for something even better. So you don't Absolutely. have to fight it. It's like when, when we lost an uh, airplane, you know, they just feel like cancel the plane and you like, you get upset. Some people get upset. Some people get fighting it. For my case, it's like, okay, when is the next one? Mm -hmm. Because I really know that that was not supposed to be for me. Mm -hmm. So that's yes. mm -hmm. beautiful. Yes. So again, the way you relate, you're really also really trusting and allowing the guidance to come through. If that didn't happen for you. Then it wasn't meant for you. Beautiful. I love that. I love the way um, you just kind of go with the flow. Wonderful. What, um, what was your biggest lesson in life? Um, if, you, if you can share something that was the biggest lesson, I know we shared about your experience when you made that powerful decision. Have there been anything else in your life that you say, wow, if I hadn't gone through that, or if I hadn't experienced that, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. So my biggest lesson in my life has to be to let go and say bye to pride. Mm -hmm. It was one of the things that hold me back so much because I didn't ask for help. I didn't hire a coach because I said, no, I can go to YouTube and figure out things. Oh, mm -hmm. I have so many books in my library. I don't care. I just go through the books and I just follow up through. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I go through the Think and Grow Rich and I just follow the steps that they said I have to do. Don't worry about it. I'm going to make it. And it passed a year and, I, and years and I didn't have the money I wanted to. And even I cry and I say, what is, what is going to happen? And that's when I realized that I was having my ego, my ego was so big that actually it was stopping me to see that I need to ask for help. Mm -hmm. That's when I started, you know, hiring coaches. And now I have three mentors that actually walk me through my business and how to make it successful. And when they hire me, I do the same. You know, mm -hmm. I show them the way. So it is incredible how pride can hold you for the beautiful things that you wanted to get done mm -hmm. because of the things that you said in your mind. I know this. Oh yeah, I know that. I don't know if you heard about somebody say, I know, I know, I know yeah. those people that I know, I know they had the <laughs> ego like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, the can, room. I can uh, relate to that in terms of, um, I know, or not seeking for help. Um, and, and I can also relate to that. Because sometimes we are afraid that people are going to know what we don't know, right? And we're afraid of being judged. And so instead of just saying, hey, I need your help, we just don't ask. Or we say, I know, I know, I know. And, and when, when we're not transparent with ourselves and we're not honest with ourselves, we're holding ourselves back. We are the ones in our way. We are sabotaging our success and our way forward. I like to ask a lot of questions. I like to know, I like to have all the steps and all the details because it just makes it easier, you know, for, for me um, to do what I need to do and to understand the, the bigger concepts. So uh, I hope that everybody gets that, you know, be okay with where you are, ask questions, seek help. Um, if, if you need a mentor, get a mentor. Beautiful. <laughs> that was the biggest challenge. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are some of the habits that you yourself had to adopt now that you now share with your clients that have allowed you to have the success that you have now? So one of the, the habits I would say is to be consistent and congruent with myself. 
-hmm. So if you're going to speak about, you know, for example, time management, I have to manage my time. You know, I have to manage my priorities because you cannot manage time. You manage your priorities, right? So if I do not do what I said others to do, that will be like incongruent. So basically, one of the things that I did is to raise my standards, become more congruent, mm -hmm. and always to stay true to myself. Mm -hmm. No lies, no faking, you know, like those saying, hey, fake it until you make it. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. What is true? What is the feeling? What is the thing? So every morning, you know, be kind of have it because something that, that we have to be really honest is that we are all consistent in anything that you want to do. Mm -hmm. But you choose to be consistent in negative wave or be consistent on the positive way. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you if you continue being consistent and sleeping until late or being consistent on not showing up or being consistent and not doing things. So what if the things that I change is to be consistent on myself on the things that are plus for my business, plus for my life, plus for my relationship and is congruent in alignment with who I truly I am. So when you raise your standards and you feel like, oh my God, this will never happen again. Like when I was in a hospital, I will never touch this hospital. It truly happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's literally like raise your standards, make sure that, that you're consistent with truly who you are in, in a positive way on the things that is benefit for you. So mm -hmm. that's one of the things that I changed drastically. Like I would say 180%. It's like it changes everything in my life is when I realized that whatever I said, I was doing it. Beautiful. I love that because that's what we were talking about earlier, right? We were talking about the choices that you make. So you're making a new choice to wake up early in the morning to show up. Those become your healthy habit. They change who you were and help you become who is the next best version of you. And especially when we do things that are benefiting us, things that are allowing us to receive, things that are allowing us to create, things that are allowing us to up-level um, our mental focus, our mental discipline, our, our alignment in, in our energy and our vitality, helping us to have balance in our life, uh, helping us you know, nourish different parts of who we are, our body, our soul, our mind, our spirit. Uh, and, you know, so we're creating this wholesome beingness um, mm -hmm. when we create healthy habits. And then there is enough of it, enough of ourselves to do what we want to do because we're not depleting ourselves and we're not, um, we're taking care of ourselves. We're taking care of ourselves in every area, stepping into a higher level of leadership, uh, stepping into our higher standards, um, stepping into a higher performance of ourselves. And it becomes very natural, very natural to perform at higher level because we're aligned. And because and aligned. We, there's a the good reason, right? We're also, it's a good reason why we're doing it. It's our why. It's our why. And now it's it's helping us reach those higher goals that we have. Beautiful. Exactly. Exactly. So it is important to to understand what kind of habits do I have every day? Because the habits that you have every day, that's how you're going to relate the success that you have. It. Beautiful. Beautiful. What is your personal practice that you have to get yourself ready for the day? Or even if you, you know, if you have a workshop or a boot camp, what is your personal practice? that you do to help you get ready to help get ready like yeah to be in the space to be in in the mindset to be in the energy do you have a person of practice that you do for yourself well it's something that i practice every day that, that's mm -hmm. what the question yes. you're asking me okay so first i uh, i don't know if you know anything about joe dispenser but i follow up all the meditations through joe dispenser mm -hmm. and i do meditations all the time but i make sure that i vision i feel all the the things that i wanted to but also i take massive action 
And uh, it's like when, and it's something that I learned from Tony Robbins many years ago, mm -hmm. is that he said the primary question that you have in the morning is going to dictate the intention of for the whole day, if mm -hmm. it's going to be as successful or not. So right now that I'm working on my business booking is every question that I have in the morning is like, how I'm going to fill the room, how I'm going to fill the room. Show me how I can feel the room. So it's not like, oh, nobody's not going to show up. Nobody. No, I'm not going to fear. I'm going to be asking how, because God and the energy or whoever you believe is going to show up and show you the way. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the things that I practice every single day it is to make sure that I have the correct primary question every morning, that I do my meditation, that I do my vision, that I feel good with myself mm -hmm. and always be true to myself. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I love that. I love that because it gets you started. It gets your day going. And that's, I feel like that's important for many people to have something that inspires you, something that uh, ignites your passion, something that gets you focused on creating, on creating whatever it is that you're up to. So adopt your own practice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What is, um, what did you learn about yourself that helped you make the changes or shifts necessary to become the person that you are now and to have the success that you have? What is something that I learned? I, man, there are so many learnings that I have in my journey, but one of the biggest learnings that I have is I have to live from my heart. I have to be in alignment with my talent, my purpose, and my heart has to be in alignment. And that's something that I, I learned. And one thing that I told me my mom many years ago is like, can we focus on one thing at a time? Multitasking is not, it does for virtual assistants, for people who are in the admin work. But for leaders, you have to focus on one thing at a time and master it become the the doctor for that particular area mm -hmm. because that's the beauty of actually being able to to give others what you actually have mm -hmm. so yes so one of the things that i learned is that is to be able to focus on one thing at a time and only focus on that thing no matter what it's like release their focus mm -hmm. and make sure that you talent that you have you're utilizing it that's mm -hmm. something that i always feel like oh my god when people told me many years ago oh you gotta become a nurse people what in the nurse they make a lot of money i love teaching i don't know how i'm gonna be <laughs> teaching but <laughs> and somebody told me too hey candy it looks like you're really great in doing this you should do this but like nope <laughs> <laughs> so it's literally just gotta be in alignment to your talents and that's what i have been learning beautiful 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 so follow your guidance follow what makes you happy follow your passion um listen to your guidance and take action and then stay true to yourself because you know we hear it especially from people that that love us they they tell us and what they feel is going to create the highest level of success for us, right? Like you should be mm -hmm. this and you should be that and, and you're good at this, you should be this. But And they, of course, they mean it in, in the best way possible. But we have to make sure that we're following our own. We have to make sure that we're following um, our own guidance and we're staying, staying true to ourselves. And doing it for the right reasons as well. Whatever we choose to do for the right reason. To exactly. Start at the level, you know, to create the impact that we desire. Whatever that is. Whatever your why is. To really connect to that. And follow through with that. Beautiful. Candy. Yeah. Anything else that you want to share with our audience? Like our messages that you have. Okay. So this is something that I wanted to share something with you guys. Is that. First, to become consistent in your business, you have to have like a set of lists of tasks, business operations that you have to do and follow through every single day. And you get to it. You will get to enjoy it. Use music, dance, whatever you need to use to incorporate it and make you happy. That's something that I wanted to give you. And another tool that I probably, if you are interested, you can reach out to me 
is the time management and worship. Because most of the most of you guys probably right now you feel like I want to get this done, but I don't have time. Oh my God, I don't want to get this, but the time is like, and that's just noise in mm-hmm. your brain because that's not the truth. It's you are just repeating something that somebody just said. So the truth is, is that you can manage your priorities and this worksheet is actually is going to show you step-by-step step how you're going to be able to select the things that are important in your life, that is important in yourself. And I love about this question. I don't know if you have um, the principles of successful leaders. Mm-hmm. One of the principles is it says you have to start with the end in mind. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if you are right there next to yourself where you are completely die, you die today and you're looking at yourself, what are the things that you have to, that you said that you regret that you didn't do it? Mm-hmm. Guess what? Those regrets, whatever the list is, that's the things that you need to do right now. And that's the things that needs to be in that worksheet as a priority because you don't want to die. Mm-hmm. and then. They said, I have this regret. So that is really, I want to give you the opportunity, that gift for you, because that is going to change everything that you're doing. Everything. Beautiful. I think that'd be very helpful for our audience. If they wanted to connect with you, how would they do that? Okay, so I have a group. and The group is candywindowinnercircle.com. Just come and become part of my community. That's the only way that you will be able to connect and see me and uh, videos. You connect with other leaders. And we are all together in this movement of leading from your heart. That is a movement that great because as a leader, you just not only need to lead yourself or lead your team or you lead your company. You have to lead yourself from your heart so you can be truly connected to your higher power. And that's what we are in that community for. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anything else uh, that you want to share? Anything else? No, I think it's, uh, there's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. But thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, I think there's a lot of great information to share with our audience, how to's and tools that they can use to step forward into their next and live into the possibility of their own magic. Thank you so much. Yay. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. <laughs> and I look forward to more of your success. Lots of love. Namaste. <laughs> I love it when he shows their hearts. You know? <laughs> it's beautiful.